Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today, it's going to be a 2v2 mid rank madness sent to Sniper Monkey at the email address in the description. Email address. Stumbled over that, but it's an email address in the description for uh, Sniper Monkey. Alright, so here on Roskillian, we've got Team. Captain America, it's going to be Baby Swiss and his teammate, The Swiss. All right, so The Swiss has been featured on this channel before, and apparently this is his 10-year-old son who is learning StarCraft. So welcome to StarCraft, Baby Swiss. Hope you enjoy your stay. In the top side, we've got ourselves a Teal Terran player named Broom and a Purple Protoss named The Kinkyan. The Kinkyan, sure. That's going to work out for me. So this is going to be interesting. Ten-year-old figuring out how StarCraft works is going to wall off at the front here. Very smart. Like that play for sure. Walling off is going to be just fine against early aggression. But against a Protoss and a Terran, less of a concern just because they can get set at the bottom of your ramp and kill your wall with Stalkers and Marines and Marauders and stuff. But walling off against Zerg is definitely very important. Just less of a concern if there isn't a Zerg on the other side of the map trying to kill you. And same thing. Walling off here. Uh, Team North. Team, I guess we'll call it The Joker doing that too anywho expanding here the swiss after getting a gateway up so gateway expand a ruining we'll see if baby swiss goes for an expansion as well probably should honestly i imagine his dad's in his ear telling him all right now that your barracks is done go ahead and take an expansion once you have 400 minerals in the meantime ooh, getting that double gas up here too before the expansion that's fine and engineering bay from broom whoa you going to Planetary Fortress upgrade your main, dude? I don't know about this. I don't know about this. But anyway, scouting around here, the Swiss checking to make sure there's not like, I don't know, a proxy pylon over here or something. I'm not even sure. Has Team... Yeah, they haven't even scouted yet. Team North hasn't scouted at all. So no, there's no proxy pylons going on. But you know, better safe than sorry is what I always say. Okay, man, so 2v2 feature and a 10-year-old. We'll see how this works out for him. Probe, okay, good scouting from the Swiss, and this is blocked off from scouting by the aforementioned wall, which is hilarious. Expansion, go, yes! Baby Swiss expanding a tiny bit late, but you know what? Perfect timing from a 10-year-old. That's just too much to expect. It's okay. Ho-ho! And then making a proxy barracks. Baby Swiss, what are we doing here? I like it a lot, though. And then you lift up and you land here or, like, up here. I don't know if you can hide it here, probably, right? Yeah, in the smoke. That's got to be the play. Land it here in the smoke, pump some marines out, and run into the mineral line and kill a bunch of probes. Love this. Love this plan. I hope that's what it is. Baby Swiss making a factory back home. Good. You do want factory units to support, you know, against uh, a Terran player for sure. Just trying to go marines and marauders against a fellow Terran is going to be rough if they have siege tanks at all. And yeah, the Akin Kian seems to be going, yep, okay, just pretty classic. Two base opening Stargate attack into Sky Toss all the way down across the sky. On the other side, is that a third? Nope, two gate cyber core here from the Swiss. Okay, that's fine. And actually, the Swiss throwing up a forward shield battery right outside the front door of Team North here, too. Interesting. All right, baby Swiss, your barracks is done. You gotta do something with it. Oh, did he planetary fortress that? No. The planetary, maybe he's in the planetary fortress. This one, he's getting high sec auto tracking. So uh, maybe the engineering bay was solely going to be for high sec auto tracking rush, which does increase the range of your missile turret attack, your planetary fortress attack. But like, I don't know. You don't need it that fast. It's a good upgrade. Don't get me wrong. It's just you don't need it before. <laughs> oh, actually, Ghost Academy. <gasps> Is it going to be lift up, land, build, ghosts, nuke? Oh, that would be hot. That'd be so cool. Swiss is up here with the sentry. Does the sentry look big to you? Why do I think the sentry looks huge? Maybe it's because it's next to an SCV and uh, that's still... Is there a skin for the sentry that makes it look fat? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. Anywho. Hey, look, it's Void Rays. Of course it's Void Rays. There's a Protoss at a lower level game. It's Void Rays. There's a Protoss in a higher level game. It's also Void Rays. Void Rays are just good. There's not a reason to not make them, really. Wow, triple nuke? Okay. Well, getting Ghost uh, Cloak research first, but triple Ghost Academy. Are you... 
the Swiss. I do appreciate your teaching your son initially how to go all the ghosts and nukes first. There you go. Two nukes on the way. Cloak's almost done. That's a scan to see if there's anything we need to worry about. And yeah, sees the double stargate. Sees the third stargate and says, okay. So we got to worry about void rays. So in that case, a lot of stalkers would actually work pretty well here from the Swiss to a certain extent. Make a ghost. Make a ghost. Yeah, tech lab it. Then make a ghost. Okay, I like this. And then do a little bit of stalker pressure. The shield batteries are sick. Oh, man, this is good. Sniper Monkey liked this one, obviously. He had it recommended to me, you know, among the many submissions that he got. So thanks, everyone, for, for submitting replays this month. It's been fantastic. Got a really good one here for you. We do these twice a week, Mindrake Madness. It is uh, Platinum, Diamond, and Gold Level StarCraft 2. So if you're in those leagues, feel free to send it to Sniper Monkey with the subject of Midrake Madness. A hallucinated Void Ray, which the Marines are summarily ignoring. Like, they're not even bothering with it, which is hilarious. There we go. Then they kill it, and it evaporates. But this is, a, this is just distraction, right? This is, please focus on the front. Please don't scout around your main base and see what's going on here. Make a ghost. Make a ghost. Make a ghost make a ghost i'm slamming my desk there we go i'm not sure if you could hear me slam my desk but i was i was very invested in him making a ghost so oh that pile oh, depowers two of the shield batteries but there's a secondary pile on here powering the other two of them so it's not the end of the world but oh this is so good okay so oh that goes try to launch a nuke in like direct range of everything so that did not work Good attempt, good attempt, baby Swiss. Now they need to watch out for nukes. <gasps> Cloaking it up. What's the sit rep? Look at him. I like how they hunch over when they run. It's a weird running animation. Oh my gosh, the siege tanks though. Remember when I was talking about factory units and siege tanks? Nuke! Yes! Let's go! Let's go, baby Swiss. Get that nuke off. Kill them fast. Ah, that did not rhyme at all. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, 16 kills. Wait. 18 kill ghost. Beautiful. Void rays. Trying to do what they can with the support of the tanks. And then just simply another nuke. <gasps> it's not our Artosis pylon. There's two pylons here, but are they both going to die? I like the stalker. It's just... Are we not looking for this one? <laughs> okay, another nuke on that one, and you're going to shut down the Kinkin's support altogether. Oh, oh. Ah, Ghost was spotted by what? This missile turret? Detection range is farther than I think it is sometimes. Okay, this one's not even cloaked. He's out of energy for that. So I like how they're, you know, the animation is down on one knee. Void Rays murderize him and cancels that nuke. All right. So the sound of, yeah, now we see it. <laughs> but the question is, do you have detection? The answer is no. So this ghost, does he have enough energy to remain cloaked while he th throws down a missile turret here? No, 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 no. Not, don't throw down the nuke in the rain. The missile turret can see you. No! Ugh. Siege tanks clearing out this forward position of the Swiss. Nobody's on more than two bases right now. Actually, just Blink Stalker in his way up here. Target firing. Yeah, target firing individual void rays. They're not using prismatic alignment, but they're in a goodly number. Oh, hallucinated. Void ray taking some shots, making it a little bit better. But in the end, there's just too much void ray here from the Kian Kian, which is one heck of a name. Sentries trying to do some stuff. Nope. Not that good against Void Rays. And Baby Swiss trying to throw up another barracks. Not allowed. Okay. So good attempt. So we're kind of back to square one. Everybody's on two bases. Nobody's taken a third base yet here at nine minutes, which is kind of in Rick Madnessy. The Swiss decides to throw down extra gateways here on his two base economy. Got some zealots up, trying to make his own actual Void Rays. And Baby Swiss just, you know, casually, casually making more nukes. Production tab shows us what's up. <laughs> I 
Why does ghost death sounds never get old to me? Oh, are you dying? I wasn't aware, ghost. I mean, look, I'm gonna be honest. If I got shot to death by a laser from a void ray, I would also make very loud and dramatic death sounds. So I'm not better than a ghost. I just think it's funny. So I guess I think it was funny if it was me too, right? Right. Brum, maybe gonna expand here. Who knows? He's thinking about it though. Trying to make a big decision whether he wants to expand with his 2,000 minerals in the bank. I, I recommend expanding as a general course of action in these games, yes. Hey, first third base of the day from the Swiss up along the right side at about a three o'clock position. So many void rays, though. All right, army value here is the biggest. Definitely for Kin Kian. 1,400 uh, army supply for the Swiss, though. Or not supply, total resources for the Swiss. A lot of it zealots, though. So, I don't know. Storm pretty good against void rays, however. But I guess we're just kind of passing like ships in the night. Got a Kin Kian down to the south. We're kind of attacking up this way as the Swiss. There's a random missile turret out, but sure. Oh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. They're gonna scan? So they're dodging the nuke very ably, but they are just wandering right past the ghost. No, oh, they, they decide not to kill him instead. Okay, just gonna engage with the Protoss here instead. The tanks are gonna siege up. They do get a couple hits off, but largely they're all dead. It's really the Void Rays that are carrying the day for Team North right now. Like, wow. Okay, that went pretty poorly for I mean, the sea tanks are all dead, which is a victory for, to be sure, but this void rate count is just, it's 11 at the moment, which is sick. I'm gonna try to nuke the void rays. No way. There's no way they sit around for that one. Okay. So you're gonna kill your mortal enemy, the missile turret, which dates back to Brood War, man. Missile turrets and ghosts. They've never gotten along in the history of StarCraft, which is now 24 years old. High Templar just casually running around completely unsupported. We're gonna make some Archons out of it. Do we have Storm? No, it's on the way being researched right now. So no third base for Team North at all. Seems like a concern. Nuke on your ramp. On your chuke. Like everybody gets out of there. This oh, he knows this is actually not bad from Broom. He sees what's going on at least. Oh, almost loses that tank, but not quite. And then tank dies because it's all bruised up from the nuke. So hey, great victory. High Templar has enough energy for a storm once storm finishes. This is really just our 10-year-old, the baby Swiss, making nukes. He's got some Widow Mines up. His army composition right now consists of a Marine and a Ghost. And a nuke. And floating about 8,000 minerals and 2,500 gas, which is to be expected, right, for a 10-year-old who's focusing on something as micro-heavy as nukes are. But, yeah, would recommend, baby Swiss. I'm sure your dad has told you this, but... Additional production facilities. There we go. Making a ton of Vikings is cool. Queuing up this many Vikings is not what I would recommend. Maybe queuing up two sets. So like this one, this one, and then two more. So like four total is not a bad idea. And then Widow Mines here too. If you are finding you need to queue up like this, build more factories. Build more factories, build more starports, which is exactly what's happening here. So that's fantastic. And just trying to go for a mass Viking strategy to try to counter the Void Rays, which I can definitely support. And I assume, again, that is the Swiss talking about you should make some Vikings to try to deal with these Void Rays because they're problematic. And it's true. They're so problematic. All right. So we're going to recall the Zealots home, which doesn't help all that much. Uh, the Archons don't take bonus damage from Void Rays, but when you're outnumbered 11 to 1, it doesn't really matter. 16 Void Rays are up, man. This is really ultra problematic here. That High Templar army from the Swiss using their basic attack on a missile turret, which isn't going to work out. They only gave the High Templar the basic auto attack because Protoss kept F2A moving High Templar into the enemy army. So it's not intended to be good. It just is intended to allow F2A moving Protoss players to not lose their casters. Which, I don't know, Infestors don't get that help. Why should High Templar, hmm? Baby Swiss was trying to go for a third. 
That's not happening. Voidering army is invulnerable, man. They cannot be stopped. There are 12. Oh, suddenly 12 Vikings are out, though. The thing is, you really want to kite in this situation. Oh, look at all these high Templar. <laughs> oh, no. Boy, oh, do it. Do it. Come into the Widow Mines. Come into the Widow Mines. Okay, one hit, one dies. Trying to do an offensive nuke in this situation. Storm, storm. Trying to get more storms off. Beautiful storm. Okay. And now the Vikings can get some more work done because all these Voiders are very injured. Well, most of them are. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. The effectiveness of the storm. <laughs> he's losing all of the Light Templar, but he's really whittling down this Void Ray count. This is crazy pants. Could AC go nuts? I don't know what this nuke is for at all. I mean, <laughs> stop nuking your dad. Stop. <laughs> Man, I get it. You're trying to help, but like... Well, I guess that's actually going to connect. <laughs> well, sure. You nuked all your dad's stuff, depowered a bunch of his buildings, but you killed all of the Void Race. That just knocked the Kin Kion down to zero army supply. He has nothing. He's going to rebuild his army by making four Void Rays at a time. Where the heck are these Vikings? And why are they not involved in support here? Are you trying to hide them? You might be trying to hide them. It's like, please continue to make Void Rays. Obviously, we don't know how to deal with them. Other than nuking our own stuff. So Void Rays will continue to be amazing. But then, secretly, there's a massive Viking army down here. So, uh... Cool. Oh, finally getting Flux Veins, Kin Kion. You probably should have gotten a while ago if you're going to go for mass Void Ray. But third base rolling for Baby Swiss. Love that. Fourth base warping in from the Swiss. Like that, too. I'd really love to see Kin Kion expanding. And he is! Finally expanding over here at the 9 o'clock position. So, good on him. Ten points to Gryffindor for that little maneuver. Additional Stargates on the way from Kin Kion. I mean, it's just Void Razor bust for him, man. Marine Tank from Broom, which is honestly, it's just a really solid all-around composition if you're trying to learn Terran. Baby Swiss. Marine Tank is very good. Good anti-air, good anti-ground. Oh, the bait. The bait, though. It's the bait, though. And then you just wander into storms. Oh, the nuke doesn't do as much as you want it to. Yeah, Marine Tank Void Ray, pretty strong against most things that can be thrown at you. Sure. Did a lot of your Marines get injured because of Storm? Yes. Did you make some medevacs to heal them up? Absolutely. But you won the battle, and that's all that really matters at this stage. Oh, the landed. <laughs> he knows how to land, Vikings, that's for sure. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, bonus versus mechanical. So, they're actually getting bonus damage here versus these uh, tanks. Which is fun. So we're going to go Zealot, Landed Viking, into Lifted Viking. Because, again, got to worry about the Void Rays. Kin Count expanding again. I like that very much. So this is where... Do we finally get our Viking Void Ray? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, okay. So all the Void Rays are dead. Prismatic Alignment. Going to do fairly well here. Storm softening up the Voids. And then the Vikings finish them off. Nicely done. Let's go. Let's push, 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 push. Planetary Fortress, can it stand up against the might of this many Zealots with all of plus one attack and no other attack or armor upgrades? No, it cannot. Exploding. Viking count, kind of high enough to keep these Vikings out of here. Landing to kill a missile turret that existed in this location. Been here for a while, actually. Yeah, wiping out Kin Count's expansions, probably a good way to do this thing. He's really mined out. I don't know, maybe expand up here? Is that the intent? I guess broom scanned it. That's a broom color. Still making void rays. Did I just lose all of my void rays to a million Vikings that showed up? Yes. Do I care? No. Upgrades would be amazing. I know there's a million things to focus on in StarCraft, Baby Swiss, but if you're going to make a million of something, get a couple upgrades for it. It's just build an armory. That's what you need here. If you have a factory, you can do that. And then plus one air weapons would be great. It really adds up when you have one, uh, 51 Vikings. 51 Vikings! Goodness gracious me. 
Softening up the front here a little bit with some nuke action. I don't know what these mules are here for exactly, but they're gonna wander into tank fire and cannons and die. Were they here to help heal up the Vikings? I don't even know what this is about anymore. Maybe that was a mistake on that mule call down. Sure, entirely possible. It's Midrake Madness. Mistakes happen. If you watched my game a couple days ago that I played against He Hate Me, you will know I make mistakes too when I play StarCraft. It's a very, very difficult game to have zero mistakes in. If not impossible, honestly. Like what Artosis once said, it's impossible to, uh, to play a perfect game of StarCraft. Rather, who wins is he who makes the fewest number of mistakes. So, this is kinda brooms at 44 supply, Kin Kian's at 83. Baby Swiss is at 134 supply, of which are 50 total Vikings. Just in case, you know, this Voidray army shows up, we can destroy them. I haven't seen so much basic attack from a High Templar army in possibly ever. Look how little damage they do. It's disgusting. I think it's like four? It is the tiniest, cutest amount of damage. I think it's less damage than SCVs and like probes put out. Honestly, I do. Ah, we found the Voidroy army. Kill them. Kill them. Oh my gosh, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Too much! Too much! Too much, too much. So I think that's your GG for Team North. I mean, I understand that, yeah, Kin Kian has got some expansions down here, which is cool, but he's still making Void Rays against a force of 46 Vikings. Which is just is the definition of insanity, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Not happening. Also, brooms. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the landed Viking shenanigans. Swiss expanding top side. Uh, broom expanding top right, actually, in amongst all the enemies. Broom, okay. I guess maybe you can get away with that if your enemy doesn't discover what's happening here, which seems entirely possible. The so Broom's at 4 supply, which is exactly 4 SCVs. Kin Kion is at 54 supply, which is a bunch of probes and 4 Void Rays. Not going well for him. This is a weird, weird game, I gotta say. Very strange, but you know, 2v2s often get weird. And I like it! That's why I like casting 2v2s in other team games every once in a while, for that very purpose. One of the games submitted was a mono battle that Sniper Monkey really liked. I should also cast the mono battle. I like casting mono battles. They seem to be pretty popular on the channel, too. Maybe I'll give that a go. See how that works. Resonating Glaives on the way. Okay. I guess we do have zero adepts. Yeah, Baby Swiss is like, look what I found! That's right, the Swiss, I'm going to murder a Nexus. <laughs> With all of the Vikings known to Terran kind. By that I mean there's 51. This isn't even really a scary army from the Swiss. It's like a handful of Archons, like what, five Zealots. And I don't know, like 10 High Templar, which is fine, I guess. But if you're trying to kill an enemy base, it's not like the ideal composition for it. But that's it. Like, we are done. Kin Kion has no income whatsoever. Broom is... Nope, that's not happening for him because a single zealot shut that top right base down. And this is largely what's going on here. Kin Kion is kind of turtled up a tiny bit, but he's got 35 minerals. He doesn't have the ability... ...to hold against really anything at this point. I mean, there's enough cannons and shield batteries and void rays to probably handle this Protoss army, I would say. Yeah, you can storm the void rays to kill them, but you can't storm cannons and you can't storm shield batteries. So, like, yeah, maybe just get out of there. You don't really have enough traditional army to handle it. <laughs> Swiss has got cannons to deal with the flying buildings of Brune here, but, you know, the Vikings are here for that, too, honestly. Oh. 
Oh, the Void Rays poked in, poked back out. Gotta get out of here. Yeah, this game's over. <laughs> Fun stuff, though. And hey, a victory for Swiss and Baby Swiss. Broom taps out. He has seen enough. I think this is his final building. No, it's not. He's got some other stuff going on. Good game, well played. Oh, look at teaching Baby Swiss manners. And the Swiss, good game, well played himself, too. Feeling good about it. I love the opening nuke into mass Viking strategy that Baby Swiss has decided he's going to roll with in this game. And it totally works because you know what? The enemy Protoss continue to make void rays without much concern for the fact that they're not that great against huge numbers of Vikings. Still, no upgrades at all. I, I would recommend upgrades as one thing to work on in your game, Baby Swiss. I know there's a million things, but GG! Baby Swiss and the Swiss are your winners in 25 minutes and 28 seconds. That's what we're talking about. Teamwork. Taking down an evil Void Ray player. Pfft, who uses Void Rays? Honestly. Ah, Protoss, that's who. And I guess, honestly, the Swiss does too. But that was... <laughs> Oh, uh, that was amazing. All right, cool. So anything else we need to talk about here? Mm -hmm. Mass Void Ray is really good unless the enemy knows what to do against them and then they're bad. Nukes are really fun, even if they're not necessarily game winning. Very, very fun to connect on anything of those. Expanding is good. Upgrades are good. And teching into the thing that will kill your opponent is smart. So end of the day, 43 Void Rays went down. For Kin Kyan, 26 High Templar, shoot. I mean, that's a lot of dead High Templar. And yeah, never really a giant army here from the Swiss today. 63 Zealots died. He never got up to max. I don't think anyone got up to max army today either. And then Broom going for his Marine Tank strategy, which is pretty good. Pretty good until you really can't get a third base rolling. And then you just get starved out anyway. So well done. Well done to father and son team. And that is going to be it for me today. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Starcraft 2 Legacy of the Void and a Midrake Madness 2v2. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself. The path of the